We're used to the fact that when it comes to the development of modern weapons, the first thing that's talked about is either the United States or Russia, the two principal opponents and recognized leaders in this field. But today's world is changing rapidly, and China is steadily moving into the lead in the development of new weapons. It's already literally nipping at the heels of both the United States and Russia. Chinese aircraft carriers are no longer a rarity in the world's oceans. The Chinese J-20 fighter of the fifth generation has already been adopted, and the second one is in active development, and China's experimental hypersonic missile has circled the planet. And there's a very high probability that in the development of the sixth generation fighter, China will finally overtake both the US and Russia and become a leader not only in the economy, but also in armaments. In this video, we'll tell you what's currently known about the Chinese sixth generation fighter. The Chinese in the development of new weapons follow a tried and true path. They buy or steal someone else's developments, study, and use them to create their own, gradually improving the samples. For example, Chinese aircraft builders previously improved the Russian Su-27 and created their J-15. And now they have at their disposal the modern Russian Su-35. As a result, they have their J-20. And based on that, they began to create their sixth generation fighter. And already at the Air Show China 2021, they presented the first concept of a sixth generation fighter from the Aviation Industry Corporation of China. It's very similar to the sixth generation fighter concepts we've seen before. Like the European or American designs, the Chinese machine has two engines and a cockpit. In other words, like American and European developers, the Chinese have not yet abandoned the concept of a human piloted aircraft. The weapons are placed inside the fuselage for stealth. What catches the eye is the small wingspan. This leads to the conclusion that the Chinese aircraft will fly at very high speeds. After all, it has to somehow provide it with lifting power. If there's no area, then it must be compensated by speed. But not even half a year later, in March of this year, the Chinese showed a new concept which is quite different from the previous one. First, the shape and wingspan changed. They became noticeably larger and moved to the tail of the plane. And most importantly, you can see in the picture that the fighter has no cockpit. This indicates that the combat aircraft will be completely unmanned. This means that the Chinese are confident that they'll be able to develop artificial intelligence to control the fighter promptly. At the moment, no technical details on this aircraft from the Chinese are known. They seem to be even more paranoid about secrecy than the Russians. So let's turn to the intelligence data which was made public by the Pentagon. In September of this year, the US Air Force Academy held a conference on defense in the air, space, and cyberspace. During the event, General Mark D. Kelly, Chief of Combat Aviation Command, gave a presentation. He released a satellite photo of a proposed experimental model of the Chinese sixth generation fighter. It shows a glider very similar to the one officially shown by the Chinese in March of this year. Again, we see a flying wing or no tail glider with a diamond shaped wing and a prominent fuselage. The visible shape of the glider indicates an attempt to combine high flight performance and stealth technology. An airplane of this type could be supersonic and reach fairly high speeds. At the same time, the range of confident detection and tracking by existing means would be reduced. According to US intelligence, the Chinese project involves the use of advanced radio electronic equipment. It's planned to use an advanced complex of environment illumination equipment, probably with the implementation of new design ideas. Also, the aircraft should get an improved computer complex, including artificial intelligence. It's known that the Chinese industry is developing heavy UAVs capable of carrying advanced avionics and various weapons. Such drones likely belong to the class of faithful wingmen. New modifications of the existing J-20 aircraft could be used as leads for these drones, as the Russians did when they developed the Su-70 Hunter drone for their fifth-generation Su-57 fighter, but it could also be used as a lead and sixth-generation fighter. Now for the timing of when the Chinese plan to take their new fighter into the sky. To date, China has managed to build a large fleet of fourth-generation fighters and has launched full-scale production of fifth-generation fighters, at the same time developing a new fighter of this generation. That is, copying the Americans in this exactly, but so far lagging behind them. They've already created their second-generation fighter, F-35 Lightning II. In this regard, it's worth recalling an interview with the chief designer of the Chengdu Aerospace Corporation, Wang Hafeng, which was published in the Chinese media back in early 2019. 
He disclosed some of the features of the work on the J-20 aircraft, as well as spoke for the first time about the development of new designs. According to the chief designer, Chengdu Aerospace Corporation conducted various preliminary studies aimed at finding new technologies and solutions. By 2035 or earlier, this work could produce a result in the form of some weapons to protect the sea and the sky. That's what the Chinese figuratively called a sixth-generation aircraft. Yang Wei, the chief designer of China's fifth-generation J-20 fighter, spoke in more detail about China's vision of a sixth-generation fighter in his interview with the state-run CCTV news agency in August of this year. Commenting on the technical standards of China's next fighter jet, he noted that the key point of the sixth-generation machine should be intelligent coding. The fuselage should be able to automatically recover and have appropriate built-in sensors. In addition, the machine should have characteristics that allow it to not only take off or land at conventional airports, but also be able to conduct space or suborbital bombing missions. That is, to conduct combat operations both in the air and in space. So who will be the first to cross the finish line in creating a sixth-generation fighter? The Americans, the Russians, or the Chinese? Recall that on September 14, 2020, the Pentagon announced the successful testing of a full-scale flight demonstrator of a sixth-generation fighter. It had seemed that the leader is obvious. It's the U.S. again. But according to Defense News, a leading American defense technology publication, the new fighter was developed in about a year. This is an incredibly short period by modern standards. For example, Lockheed Martin built the X-35 demonstrator as part of the F-35 fifth-generation fighter jet program for four years. Therefore, either the Americans are pulling dust in their eyes, making their strategic opponents, Russia and China, nervous, or something was tested that by no means can be called a full-fledged sixth-generation fighter. The more so that the American program of creation of the sixth-generation fighter, Next Generation Air Dominance, abbreviated NGAD, is a whole family of related systems for air combat. Not just fighters, but also drones, satellites in space, and platforms in cyberspace. That's why NGAD is sometimes referred to as a system of systems. The Pentagon does not rule out that the project will create not just one aircraft, but several. That the Americans are not doing so well is evidenced by the Pentagon's statement that the U.S. intends to be ahead of China in creating a new sixth-generation fighter aircraft and introducing the aircraft into service by 2030. That's an interesting statement. It's as if the U.S. has always been in second place, but now it intends to get ahead. And the same U.S. Air Force General Mark Kelly states, The Chinese sixth-generation fighter program is on the right track. They're not debating the relevance of air supremacy. They're methodically and systematically building a new aircraft. In general, the battle for air supremacy in the 30s of this century is getting hotter and hotter. Who will win? The United States or China? And there's also Russia. As the Russian proverb says, the Russians are slow to harness, but fast to ride. Well, our channel will watch this fight, and if there's any interesting information, we'll inform our viewers. So subscribe to our channel if you haven't yet, and give us a like for this video. It's very important to us. We'll see you again soon.